Greetings from Victoria, Garnet Schuhauser here. For those of you who aren't familiar with me, I am the author of five books in the spiritual genre, and all of my books deal with my dialogue and astral travels with my spirit guide, Albert, who confronted me on the street one day disguised as a homeless man. You can find out more about my books on my website, which is garnetschulhauser.com. Now, on my many astral trips with my spirit guide, Albert, he often took me to the spirit side, which is our true home, which is where we all came from before we incarnated on earth and where we will all return to uh, once our physical bodies die. In this series of videos, I try to uh, relate to you some of the startling revelations that I learned uh, from my trips to the spirit side with my spirit guide, Albert, things that are often controversial and will open a lot of eyes. A lot of people will disagree with what I've heard from Albert and the people on the spirit side, but so be it. Everyone's entitled to their own opinion, and, but at the end of the day, we'll all end up back at the same place. So it doesn't matter what you really believe while you're on earth. So today I'd like to talk about a very controversial subject, which is homosexuality and LGBTQ issues that are raging around our planet and in most countries. Uh, there's a lot of people who have very strong views about it. And many of our organized religions uh, think that homosexuality and homosexual activities are a sin. Uh, they're contrary to God's rules and they will end up with people who practice that will end up being punished in the afterlife if they continue. So the question is, is homosexuality a sin? Well, as Albert tells me, first of all, there's no sins in an absolute sense um, uh, on planet Earth or in the spirit side for that matter. The organized religions of the world um, call various transgressions as being sins, which means that they're contrary to the rules of God. Well, Albert says this is just a total fallacy because the source of God does not make rules for humans to follow on earth or anywhere else for that matter. And so these so-called sins of God are really man-made sins uh, created by religious holy men who uh, use uh, that concept of sins and uh, punishment and judgment in the afterlife as a way to control the masses. So if homosexuality is not a sin, is it a uh, contrary to the laws of nature or an abomination that should be shunned or shut down or stopped completely because it's in the view of some people it's unnatural the answer is no um, people souls on the spirit side who of course can see the total picture about uh, human life on earth and the cycle of reincarnation uh, know that there's nothing wrong with homosexuality and in fact i had a conversation on one of my trips to the spirit side with aphrodite the greek goddess of love and sexuality Aphrodite, who was an amazingly beautiful and wise soul on the spirit side, who actually did walk the earth uh, back in ancient Greek times and was given the uh, honor of being called uh, a goddess, she confirmed to me that uh, homosexuality is very natural. It's happened uh, throughout the history of humankind. Uh, even though it's been shunned and abhorred by uh, the mainstream people, it is a natural thing and there is nothing wrong with it. She said that the source created humans with a strong sex drive and sexual organs, and it was intended that uh, sex would be uh, a source of pleasure and a, and a means of reproduction for humans. Now, obviously, homosexual activities can't result in, uh, in a pregnancy, so they're done for pleasure, but there's nothing wrong with that. You don't have to have both components in sex to make it natural or, in the eyes of religion, not sinful. She said you can't truly get the full human experience unless you incarnate as both sexes. So if you try to incarnate only as a male through all your lifetimes or as a female, you're only getting really half the picture. And so she explains that in the uh, in physical realm, a lot of uh, life forms have uh, two sexes, just like humans do. But she reminded me that souls on the spirit side who are really beings of energy, that's our natural state. Um, there is no gender in the spirit side. There's no male or female or bisexual or anything. It is just um, a, a non, I guess, basically a non-binary being of energy. But when we incarnate into the physical realm, such as an, as a human, then we have to choose one sex or the other. 
and she explained that sometimes um, in, in connection with a, a homosexual person, they may have spent several lifetimes before that as one sex, so maybe as a male, and then they choose to incarnate on earth, say, as a female. Sometimes the memories that they have uh, from their male incarnations, where they had sexual, strong sexual desire towards a female, some of that may spill over into their current life as a female, and that leads them to uh, desiring to have sex with somebody of their own gender. And, and so that is sometimes the reason that people become uh, homosexuals, uh, because it may be a spillover from some of their previous lives. In any event, Aphrodite says that no matter what the cause of a person uh, having uh, homosexuality tendencies uh, on earth, whatever the cause, whether it's from past life or some other reason, it's not a sin. It's a very natural aspect of human existence, although it's a very small part of human existence, but it has been around forever and no one should shun it or abhor it or treat people who are homosexuals with um, disdain or hate because it's all very natural. Now, in case some of you are wondering, am I gay? The answer is absolutely not. I'm a true heterosexual um, and I always have been. I've never had any uh, thoughts otherwise. Uh, and so why am I talking about homosexuality? I just think it's an important topic for people and for all of those people out there who think that whether you're gay yourself or you know somebody who's gay, you should not think that it's a sin because there are no sins, but it's not unnatural or abhorrent. And you should treat all those people, whether they're heterosexual or homosexual, with dignity and respect. And that's the way it should be. This will all become apparent to everyone once they leave their human incarnations and go back to the spirit side, because souls in the spirit side uh, see the entire picture and they can see immediately um, what I was saying is true because that's where it came from. It came from souls in the spirit side and the goddess Aphrodite in particular. So there you have it. If you'd like to learn more about my astral trips, my spirit guide, Albert, uh, please continue to watch my videos and read my books for more information. If you enjoy this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And in the meantime, enjoy your journey and above all, remember to keep on dancing.